What's going on guys, it's Mr. Green here and this is Free For All Tips and Tricks Episode 2. I started a Free For All Tips and Tricks series and Episode 1 did extremely well. There will be an annotation above just in case you missed that. That video covered your creative class and your score streak setup you should use in order to do well in Free For All. This video is going to cover the general tips on how you should develop your play style in Free For All. Basically, how you should play Free For All, what tactics you should use and what you should do in order to do well. Free For All is one of my favorite game types. It's a game type where you're facing seven other individual opponents instead of facing a team like other game types. I'm Mr. Green and I do gameplay walkthroughs and Call of Duty tips and tricks videos. If you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. I always appreciate it and I will bring other content as fast to you as possible. Without further ado guys, let's get going with these tips and tricks. Okay guys, we're going to start off with something that is very simple, yet very, very important. I can't stress it enough how important it is, and a lot of big YouTubers talk about this simply because of how important and how much of a factor it is contributing to your free-for-all or overall Call of Duty success, and that is map knowledge, guys. Map knowledge may seem very simple, may seem very basic, yet it is the core of your play style. How you play is how well you know the maps, and how I want to emphasize this is by asking a question. When Treyarch or Infinity Ward releases a new map pack, how do you feel about those maps? Most people find themselves frustrated. They sometimes may not like the maps from right away. They feel lost when playing the maps. And that is a common feeling between Call of Duty players. And the reason for that is, is because you've been playing maps that you know. You know these maps like the back of your hand and you've been playing them with for a few months. And then they release a new map pack and all of a sudden you're just, you're out of your flow. You're, you're not, you're not navigating the map very well simply because you don't know the map. And there are three factors that I consider for free for all with map knowledge. Actually, actually there are four. So let's let's go through these. The first one is knowing your vantage points. And what I mean by, by vantage points is your points of interest. Where do people go in the game the most? In in this map, what is the spot that most people fight over? Every map has it. Overgrown people fought for the house. In other, you know, terminal people fought for the the, the plane or, or certain sections of the inside of the of the terminal lobby. Every map has them, and it's very important to know them because if you know them, you can either A, avoid them, or find a strategy of getting in that vantage point and locking it down tight to get kill after kill after kill while people are just coming after you. The second point in map knowledge is camping spots. Where do people camp the most, okay? And this is extremely frustrating when you don't know a map. If you're getting on a map and people have been playing that map for a long time and already know the camping spots and the vantage points, it's extremely frustrating to play on that map. So map knowledge is extremely important in that regard. The third point I would like to make is called jumps, jump spots. Basically spots that you can jump over really quickly and navigate the map really quickly. Knowing these is extremely important. And T. Martin is a big YouTuber. He actually does a lot of these jump spots videos. And a lot of people hate on him for this, but they are actually extremely helpful, guys. Knowing these jump spots to help you navigate through the map and get to the quickest areas as fast as you can is actually extremely helpful. So that's point three. And the fourth point is probably the most important about map knowledge, and that is spawns, guys. And this is extremely important, important for free for all, is the spawns. Where is the enemy spawning? When you kill a person, it's extremely important to know where they're spawning. So that's part four of map knowledge, you guys. Okay guys, the second thing we're going to talk about is spawns. We're going to emphasize spawns more because spawns are also extremely important to Call of Duty in general and really, really important to Free For All. Okay guys, it's no secret that spawns in Call of Duty are terrible. That's that's not a secret. It's, it's terrible, it's beyond bad, and they can't ever seem to get it right. It's something they can't ever seem to fix in any Call of Duty. Spawns are just going to be bad forever. I'm, I'm starting to live with it. It's, it's okay. We can just embrace the fact that they don't know how to handle a spawn system. The spawns in free-for-all are exceptionally bad, guys, and I mean beyond terrible. It's almost it's what discourages a lot of people from playing free-for-all is because the random deaths from people spawning behind you is outrageous, okay? And let's emphasize on how important it is to know the spawns, though, how that can actually help you. You can use the bad spawn system to your advantage, and how I use this to my advantage is simply knowing the spawns, knowing how the spawn system works. It hardly ever, a Call of Duty tries its best, the developers tries its best to never spawn a person right in someone's line of sight, meaning that it, you will hardly ever see someone spawn on your screen. It does happen extremely, extremely, extremely rarely. It does happen. Where they spawn people is out of people's sight. That means behind you. That's why a lot of people complain about deaths from behind is because the way the spawn system works is if 
that person isn't being aimed at when they spawn, it's considered a safe spawn. It's a safe spawn for them simply because no one is aiming at them. Now, this can be very bad for the person in front of them. Sometimes you will literally spawn right behind a guy and have a shot at his back like that. No problem. Easy. Done. There you go. Okay, how to use this to your advantage is something that I do all the time in free for all. And it is when you kill somebody, immediately turn around behind you. And, you know, when it's safe. You see me do this a lot. You'll see me a lot of times I'll kill somebody, I'll immediately turn around and run the opposite direction. And that is because, guys, a lot of times you'll kill someone and Call of Duty is going to spawn them behind you. And let me show you a little clip real quick showing exactly how this works. Okay, guys, check this clip out right here. I kill this guy outside, boom, dead. Turn around, immediately run to the opposite end of the room. There he is again, guys. I turn around again, go to the opposite end of the room. He spawns again. I kill him three times in a row. Turn around, run to the opposite end, and it's a different guy, but still, someone spawning behind me. So, guys, that is the name of the game in Free For All. It's going to spawn people behind you. This is something Treyarch and Infinity Ward has known for a very long time. It's something that they need to fix. However, they have not. So, it's something you need to realize and something you could take advantage of okay what happened to that guy and how i was able to kill him three times in a row by predicting his spawn is not fair to him okay he did not have fair spawns those three times i killed him however that is not my problem that is infinity ward and treyarch's problem something they need to fix i don't need to worry about that you should take advantage of that because the spawn system is so bad that if you don't try to predict the spawns you're going to get shot in behind from someone spawning right behind you so many times it's going to make you extremely frustrated guys so that is is how important spawns are. Spawns are extremely important, guys. So let's move on to the next topic. Okay, guys, my last and final point for free for all is a strategy I use to do well in free for all and in Call of Duty game types in general. And this strategy works for me. I'm very comfortable with it. Having said that, if you have a strategy that you like that does well for you, by all means, stick to it. If you have a strategy that's continually getting you free for all wins or game type wins in general, stick with that. This is just a strategy that works for me. A lot of people like to go to the center of the map where all the action is. I don't advise that. The reason I don't advise going to the center of the map is, yes, you may get a few kills, but you're going to die. You're not going to survive and last very long going right to where all the action is. The reason for that is, is because there's so many spawns around you guys. So many areas where the enemies can just invade you and spawn behind you and shoot you in the back. It's not very smart. Another thing that I don't advise doing is camping. Okay, and camping is not a term. I don't like using the word camping a lot, but sticking in one spot like a building for too long and free for all is not a good idea guys you're facing seven other individual opponents okay if you can't for long enough those seven other individual opponents are going to realize this and they're going to all come after you like hound dogs who haven't eaten in weeks it's not something that's very smart okay guys so what i do is i stick to the perimeter of the map i stick to the outside of the map and i have routes that i run you'll notice in in most of all of my videos i usually stick to the outside of the map there's a couple reasons for this the first reason is that the spawns are much easier pr to predict you're easier to predict the spawns when you kill a guy they're probably gonna spawn behind you it's much easier to turn around when you're on the outside of the map the second reason is so you don't get spawn killed a lot if you're in the middle of the map people are gonna be spawning around you guys like I've said before so sticking to the outside of the map greatly increases your chances of survival because it's it's much easier for you to be comfortable running your routes predicting the spawns and keeping the flow going and moving okay guys that wraps up my free-for-all tips episode two i hope you enjoyed it just as much as you enjoyed the first one guys i'm mr green and i really really enjoyed making this for you guys i really enjoyed this so any comments any feedback any likes you can give i will greatly appreciate that guys and this wraps up episode two of free for all and my free for all series in general i hope you guys have a great time and a great day and i hope this really helped your free for all